day Can't you see what's going on? Through it all, gospel rhythm still going strong Trust in God when it's good or when it's going wrong Encourage other believers to keep holding on Catching the vision and we making it plain We the head, not the tail, so we won't complain Here to lift up the downcast and the broken hearted Changing life with the truth, so let's get it started We got the word, music, entertainment, light You can catch us on the air every Sunday night With special guests, the news, and interesting stories A platform for the kingdom to the God the glory Worldwide and we live I'm on the huge stream. What you know about the Gospel Rivers magazine? For God's in it, you don't gotta chase dreams. Uh-huh. You need to check us out and see what we mean. Hey! 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 Welcome to Gospel <laughs> Rhythms, Heaven's Party here on Earth. Talk Live Radio. Mm, that's right. My name is Trisha Man Grant. And I'm Ro Williams. And this is our life edition. Thank you for tuning in. And we are so blessed to have in studio on today. Yes. None other than <laughs> the lovely, the talented, the singing sensation, Miss Andrea Jones, ladies thank and gentlemen. You, thank you. And if she looks familiar, um, she has she can sign y'all. Yes, yeah, she can. And she, her 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 vocal mm. cords have graced the stage with mm. some of Grammy greats, <laughs> as well as the stage. Uh, theatrical productions as the one she's been in as recently uh, meet me in the prayer room with Don B. Welch so we are so That's excited right. to have you thank here thank you so much I'm honored to be here oh, but one so. of the co- cool things about having you in studio today is because you know we know you as a talent I know you because you're my virtual workout partner <laughs> That's right. Yes, we are on a mission <laughs> to like you know tap into you know Fitness. our inner coke body like yes. Miss Grant over yes, there yes. harnessed all of mm-hmm. her life some people just have those genes yeah. some other I people got to really great. work for those Jesus. We we feel like we look you great, look but we no. but we know we can be Yo. greater. We always we can always be greater. Be greater. Yeah. Right. But I appreciate the love. Yeah, yes. I'm just saying. You know, I it's got it. I got it. it. It's just a little padded yeah. right now. Oh, yeah. honey, you know, I, you know, and I got a Nothing six pack. I, mean, I got an eight pack. It's just on order. It's on order. You know, they haven't arrived yet, but it will before the summer is out. Jesus, name. because you got to go by your birthday, yes. which is coming 20 up. Twenty pounds. Mm-hmm. When's your birthday? June fifteenth. June fifteenth. Oh my! And I, my goal is yes. for my, my birthday. I haven't figured out the number yet, but I'll let y'all know. Mm. Okay. <laughs> but no, that's why your birthday is coming up in September, right? No, August. No, August. Oh, I knew so that. Sad. I was just testing her. I was. So mm. I know she is Scorpio. Yeah. Mm. 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 November third. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lord. I, I, I take that back. I bring that back in. But back to the show that's currently in back progress. Life edition. To Andrea. So <laughs> I, I, you know, it was. Just having you here is a blessing because you have you're so talented with your vocal cords, and we're gonna have to. You know, Hear let her. them give you a test of some mm-hmm. of your, your, mm. your, your slang. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? Yeah, you didn't I know figured that. You know, I'm yeah. always ready. Always. But no, seriously, are you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. That's right. But no, seriously, because um, Trisha, y'all know if you know, like, what even she's posting her workout. Like, this time last year, tell us about the difference between where your life was then and to where it is now. Well, I had a really terrible accident actually in 2017 where I ruptured my patellar tendon and what is that and where is that because if you were to say that that again and I ruptured my patellar tendon which is your knee so it it basically connects your thigh to your calf so there was no um communication severing I felt (laughs) it's just I've had it before a couple years ago and re-ruptured it and basically it snapped so they had to yeah what had happened? But you no, were is it healed. Or? It's healed now. It's she's here because okay. she couldn't walk. Yeah, okay. I wasn't. Well, I mean, you never know. You still could be having pain. No, she about still, to tell you. Still be tender. <laughs> if you let her, uh, you can't work <laughs> out. Sometimes you know. No, and that was good, very hard for me because I couldn't work out. Um, and I had just right before my um, accident, I had lost fifty pounds. Wow. And I was feeling you good. Was on the road. You were doing your I was thing, like, girl. I was on my way to my six pack. <laughs> uh, yeah, just around the corner, man. <laughs> right, and I fell and mm-hmm. had to have surgery, but um, there were some great things that came out of that because I was down off of work for six months, mm. and my parents came from up north and stayed with me. Wow, and took care yeah. of me because yeah. I was not oh, able wow. to do it myself. Both um, of your parents. Both of my parents came. came. That so, is what a blessing. It was to have a huge blessing. Two amazing parents. I love you that much. Yeah. And then to be able to wow. look past the fact that despite 
that not only did it take you out of being able to walk towards, uh, run towards that goal of mm-hmm. just, you know, that six pack or the right. eight pack, but right. also your gift because right. you're out not only oh, working no. out. And I think Don ramped up the shows while I was out. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, that's like, miss work. Did like, it what? Really? Yeah. You having another one and I can't <laughs> be in it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why, because but, you're in every. Well, most of them. One of Don's yeah, shows most pretty of much. Yeah, you weren't shows. in the bachelorette party, right? right? That would have been so much fun to work with you. I know. Maybe yeah. next time. Okay. We're going to have to make that happen, mm-hmm. girl. But you know, <laughs> I, I just, you know, I have watched you over the years and I've seen how God has just elevated you and blessed your career and taken you just from one thing to the next. And he's just shining this light on you and giving you so much favor. Do you see that? I do. And, <sighs> and I mean, it's, Please. I just thank God every day because it could, it doesn't have to be me. Right. You know, I'm, there's a million people that can sing and do a little acting and whatever else that I bring to the table. But God has a specific path for me a journey for me and people that are in my life that see that and do what they can to help me. Like you, you call me often and say, Hey, can you do this? Can you do that? And Don has been such a blessing in my life. Um, I the tagged you side. on the, the, the Robert Townsend thing. <laughs> Listen, and Ro. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, did she hook you up with Robert Townsend? No, no. I mean, everybody. everybody, everybody. Which what? I love. Yeah. Robert Townsend put out a, a call for singers who wow. act. And so, Everybody was inboxing me, tagging me, oh, yes. texting me, calling Andrea. me. You gotta go, and I'm yes. like, I'm going. I love Robert Townsend. I, know. <laughs> I will be there. I'm a huge fan of yes. the the five heartbeats. So the music and mm-hmm. just the whole process. And so they thought she was Tasha Cone. <laughs> wow. wow! Yes. Well, I mean, but oh, shoot, they both I been seeing their faces. That's off, all right. So I get it. You I know, so puffy. my man. It's just, it's just a wonderful. <laughs> no. um, it's just a wonderful journey. It's yes. different. Um, I work full time, so I'm a social worker. I get that because I yeah. know we both were both embroiled in work because this goes to when you're pursuing what God's gifted you to do and your purpose versus, right. you know, what you have to do to keep your lights on and the, the rent. Paid. Absolutely. And I think they all go together. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm still doing God's work yeah, with absolutely. that, but you have to have a balance. It, it can't just be all work and no passion or no. Right you know, activities that fuel your soul in a different way, a creative right. way. Mm-hmm. Or and even in ministry, because like I, I manage property by day, so mm. I'm dealing with souls that, you know, the <laughs> residents. Right. And so that's my ministry platform. Where if you, in your, wherever your platform is, you know, you could be, I don't know, they don't have milkmen anymore to come deliver milk to your house. They used to back in the day, wow. at least so I heard, but so whatever. The, right, right. So the mailman. Ooh, the mailman. Yeah, well, the mailman. Yeah, the mailman. You come and deliver the mail. Yeah. But you know what I love about her is that she stays humble. And I do know a lot of lovely divas that they <laughs> oh, sing their faces off. They are gifted, but to have such humility and such a love for God and not be afraid to tell the world that you love them. And you you sing R and B, you sing gospel, jazz. you sing jazz and blues, you you sing, sing it all. Good music. And and you've always <laughs> for all the years that I've known you, you've always just been like this. And so I commend you for Thank keeping you. such a beautiful heart and spirit. And I think continue. it's important because in this industry, there's so many people that are trying to take advantage of other people and trying to think that they're better. And, and I, I just don't have time for drama. I stay to myself a lot. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm not in any clicks. You know, mm-hmm. it's just like if there's work, I'm going to show up mm-hmm. professional on, on time. time. And do my job. What do you yeah, do, though, when you time. see the clicks? Because every show I've been in, I, I usually see the clicks form. And I'm like, you, I just kind of try to, I leave the drama for the stage. Because that's exactly where that's it belongs. That's where it belongs. Oh my. You know? I uh, like, like you said, like, that's the way I keep my my attitude and my, my um, just my presence at a calm. I don't like a lot of drama. I don't mm-hmm. like a lot of, you know, just messiness and... And I just have my headphones. I'll just get to the side. I mean, I speak to everyone. I'm not rude, right. but I'm not. I'm not there to just get in with this person. And oh, we gonna go do this. And I don't. <laughs> I think it's, it's just, easy to like be able to to flesh out what relationships are genuine. Who has yeah, an absolutely. agenda? Who has an yeah. emotive? That's called discernment. Absolutely. So if you stay prayed up, <laughs> right? And you know uh, I mean? and, and I have friends up. in the industry. Yeah, so when can. we have gigs, we have a ball. I'm not saying I'm sitting in the corner every gig, but if it's someone <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I'll introduce myself. Sure. And you fill out the room. 
But at a certain point, if people are not being professional, mm-hmm. then I have to separate myself from them. There you go. Well, I want to uh, just roll it, dial it back to that that time that you were on lockdown because of your energy. How, I mean, injury. Mm-hmm. Um, how how much time would you say was that? Like a year you were out. Um, I was I was off work for six months, but the recovery process is I'm still recovering. You know, it's it's a day by day thing. Sometimes I see uh, more progress. It, basically, I wasn't able to bend my leg, bend mm-hmm. my knee. Oh no. So I was in physical therapy for over a year and, you know, just trying to find the right people um, because sometimes people get to the end of their expertise and they don't know. They say, oh, this is it. This is as far as I can take you. Mm-hmm. I didn't believe that. And right. I didn't accept that report. And I that sought some other. You won't believe. Exactly. I sought some other opinions and found a doctor that was very helpful in getting me back to where I am now so I can work out. I feel better about myself. Right. And, you know, it's just my health is better. My blood pressure had gone up. And hmm. just so many things had transpired because of the injury. And I just didn't feel myself. Mm-hmm. And so when you're not feeling yourself, you don't really want to go out a lot of times. I mean, not that I stayed in the house, but you just don't feel your best. It's like, sure. it's a chore. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm like, oh, let's go. You want to interview? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's, 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 let's like, show up. I feel good right. and I'm ready to do it. I have, And my energy is back. Yeah. So uh, what would you attribute... Um, uh, it, whether it's a particular scripture that carried you through that season um, uh, to um, strengthening you, to keep you committed to not only getting through that and not being, you know, uh, having to be on meds because of depression, right. but also, you know, I remember something you, uh, you put up, you had a picture, you, something you didn't feel like heading out, <laughs> but you were like, no, I had a flashback, your own mental memorial. Yes. When you couldn't walk, you was like, no, yeah. I'm going to press through the I don't feel like it, don't want to, <laughs> no, and just had, make like Nike and do it. I had so, days when I was just in the bed during those six months, and I would just pray, and I know one time I broke down, my mom's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I just I just didn't see myself back in this position. and Ever. Ever. Mm-hmm. You know, I you thought it was okay. today or I was, yesterday. My coming. life was going mm-hmm. great. I'm like, mm-hmm. I, I got to sit down. So I was like, okay, what is God trying to to teach me in this Ooh, in this moment. Good. Okay, so, very good. What was that's, that? Well, be anxious about nothing. There you go. Ooh, that's a word there right go. there. That's, that's a word a, right a there. Wonderful that's... word. And when we come back, yes. we're gonna talk more about not being anxious. Not being anxious. Yeah. Right. We all are anxious. <laughs> <laughs> I have been anxious before. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Andrea Jones. Yes. I am Trisha Mann Gray. Yes. Andrea Williams, Life Edition, Gospel Women's Talk Live. <laughs> Foster care kids often feel like a case number. Kids in the Spotlight gives foster care and underserved youths a chance to discover their own unique voice through filmmaking. Who's our screenwriter? That's me. What's your name? I'm Tony. Great work, Tony. Come on in. Great work. Help transform the lives of foster children through the art of film. Go to kidsinthespotlight.org. With another Bye. wonderful episode of Gospel Rhythms GRTV. I'm Trisha. I'm Rose. Yes, yes, and this is Andre. Yes, she is. Can you so, try not to be anxious? <laughs> yeah, we were talking about being anxious before the break. So so let's say the scripture. Go ahead and tell us what the word says about be anxious but nothing. We'll say it's just be anxious about nothing with mm-hmm. prayer and supplication. Right, you know, right. make your request known to God. Ow. And, right there. you know, like you said, I had that flashback. Sometimes I'm like, I'm tired. I don't want to get up. And then I say, but I was in that bed, like tears, like, God, if you just let me get up from here, I will work out. I will do whatever I'm supposed Aww. to do. And I mean, you, I, I think sometimes we, we all get in that. We want to make a, a bargain, but it's just really that, that human side where you're like, I don't want to be in this position mm-hmm. and I will do, not that I wasn't doing it before, but I will continue the work that I was doing. If that's what you have for me, because it couldn't, it didn't have to work out like it did. Wow. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> it's so crazy how sometimes things happen to us for the benefit of others, so that we can encourage and inspire others. So yeah, you know. I felt that way too. A lot of people say, "Wow." I mean, I saw friends like I would be on my walker or in those little buggies in the car in the the grocery store, and they're like, "Andre, what happened?" Oh and yeah, I, that's right. She had because I, I didn't post yeah. on, on social oh, wow. media. Oh, you were just a little baby walking down the street in a walker. You know I mean, so, so no, that's humbling that's equipment to be rolling with. Oh, it is. Yeah. I mean, and, and I wasn't ashamed. It was just that you know when you have an injury and you're trying to process all of that, and you're right. processing the loss of not being able to work hmm. or do your creative outlet. I mean, thank God I had <clears throat> disability insurance people. 
Yes, get Good that. For you. Um, <laughs> so that I did not have to stress about money while I was off. Good. Um, but you know, is that Aflac? Yes. Ooh, that's is Aflac. It? Let me yeah. just break color. it down for y'all. <laughs> Aflac. Aflac. Yes. <laughs> Came in very. Now handy. send us some money for the commercial. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, but when you when you have an incident like that, like you said, I do feel that people were inspired by my journey, sure. and I know for a fact that it just gave me a clarity of who I really thought my friends were. Mm. I mean, people that knew didn't really respond. Um, And then people that I hadn't known, you know, as long were were very concerned and helpful. So it just kind of helped me shift When stuff hits the fan in your life, it Mm. really helps you wade through, like, who's really your ride or dies and who's really your just... Right. And some people didn't know, and I understand that, but you know how active I am on... on, um, social media. Oh, when you just operate so, on it. Y'all, I'm bad, because I'm terrible with Facebook. I'm sorry, I gotta get in the group. But, but like, if you saw I that just, I didn't I post for like six months, like, you would be you like, at? what's going on? Yeah. 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 You know, and I do that, and I think we need to do that more. It. I mean, <laughs> I don't, I didn't put it out there that says, oh, I had an injury and I'm right. off, because then it would have been bombarded with all these yeah. messages. So I just wanted time to heal and, yeah. and not be anxious anymore yeah. um, about that, trying to field questions. But I feel like God really showed me something amazing because I always wanted to live close to my parents, but I left at 18 to go to college. And so I never get to see them for long periods of time. So Mm. I hated that I was hurt, but but I had, I was so sad when they left. I loved spending time with my parents. Six months? Were they there with you the whole Mm -hmm. six months? Mm -hmm. So that's a blessing right there. No. Because most people be like, oh, mama, please. If my somebody was great. waiting on me, <laughs> hand and foot, because I couldn't walk, I think I would be very, uh, very, no. be very accommodating. I mean, my dad was so patient with me. We would walk to the mailbox, and I would just have mm. my walker, and he's just taking his time. And, I love you. You know, my parents. mom would, you know, <laughs> cook and just encourage me and help me with my physical therapy. You know, so, so you know something I you, have their number. So I can call them. <laughs> something that you said that, that also struck a chord in that we are so busy about our own agenda and our own lives. Like, like you said, kind of press pause and take note and inventory of the people that you have been engaged with regularly right. and, yeah. and, and, and ask the Holy Spirit, is, is there somebody you may need mm-hmm. to plug back in? Cause it may not be that you don't wish them good or bad or that you just not right. uninformed and not informed. Exactly. So yeah. So that, thank you for that. Indeed. Now fast awesome. forward to today on yes. and cracking on and cracking. What is <laughs> hey. going on? Woo. I mean, we're Pretty back. Pretty soon I'm going to have to go through a publicist. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm like, like bro, bro. I'm going to have to go through bro, people. Who? People. <laughs> Like people, I got people, ice people. We got you before you know. Yes, oh, you guys have had me Lord. years. Yo, and I, yes. You heard so it so, so when when you are up there, you know, at the Oscars doing your thing. But you didn't you perform? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. John Legend. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So when you when you're up there getting one, will you just remember us? Yes, I will. Well, I just have a so question. Why you post a picture? You looking mad? Well, <laughs> the was, song we were singing was... Said, let them know what's going on. I, I performed uh, with John Legend and Common on the Oscars, oh, and we were singing Glory. I would have been like, yeah. So <laughs> it was... I, I really can't wow. explain it. Um, you was it, was, uh, it was in, Don't incredible. Don't say that's a real word. It was, no, it was incredible. Was it surreal? It was unbelievably <laughs> incredible. Um, Everybody says surreal. Yeah, it was incredible because... When we walked through that that bridge, it they made the props look like the original bridge, and wow. it, the power and the energy in that room was just phenomenal. Wow! And when we before we got on stage, Common said, "You know, this is for our ancestors," and mm. he just came and just made us all feel really, you know, welcomed and yeah. and um. You know, just said this is a powerful moment, and so yeah, that song makes me very. So emotional. that's why I was. I it wasn't even like a frown. It was just like I'm in this moment. I yeah. felt it, and oh. it was like wow to have been in that space, for, wow. like uh, marching and yeah. singing that song. It just the oh, it was overwhelming. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, like I'm trying to keep here. from crying. Like it was. Oh. The wow. first rehearsal was was crazy. I mean, it just nice. the sea of color and the talent mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. that stage, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. I saw the pictures. Yes, beautiful, proud of you, girl. So when you so get that call, like, do they call you directly, or do they like, how do you? you hey, Sometimes man, I, it's you. just the email, like, hey, are you available? I'm like, absolutely, absolutely. You know, and then um, sometimes there's like an open call um, for certain segments, and actually. 
last year I could have been booked on two, but I couldn't move as well. It was for, um, I forgot one of the segments, but I couldn't, my leg wouldn't allow me. And I said, I can't take a chance. I yeah. want, don't be greedy. Right, <laughs> Just right. do one segment mm. and be excited. So that's what I So did. what would you say to somebody? I don't know why my phone should not be mm-hmm. like Is this. Is that Jesus calling? <laughs> it is a Jesus. Well, if not. Hi, <laughs> Jesus. I don't even have, let me turn media down. Somebody turn media up. But um, oh, what would you say to someone out there who is, is they're like, man, I'm so talented. You know, I'm going through adversity. I believe mm-hmm. this is a gift God gave me, but nothing's happening. I'm not getting any breaks. You know, and they don't have the luxury of loving parents that are still together. Mm-hmm. They maybe come from a broken home. What would you say to them to encourage them on their life's journey to really walk in the fullness of the, what they believe God has called them to do, if it's singing or whatever? Well, I do talk to a lot of younger artists, and what I share with them is to be active, be seen. If you say you sing, why are there no videos of you singing on your page? Wow. Okay. Why is there no, you know, footage? Why are you doing all these open mics and no, but you don't have anything to show for it? Why? Right. Why are you not auditioning? I've every, I looked around that room yesterday when I was um, auditioning for Robert Townsend. People have been on American Idol, The Voice, everything. Everybody was there. You know, mm-hmm. Broadway. Mm-hmm. Um, they've had on been on Billboard. You know, so. Everybody's trying to work. Yeah. You know, you can't be so grand that you can't go to an audition. Unless, I mean, I don't know anybody that's just walking up giving jobs away. Right. I always say this. If you're not at uh, Brad Pitt, I used to say when (laughs) when they were together, if you're not at Brad Pitt, Angelina, Angelina Jolie status, then you still need to be going to auditions and you need to keep it really humble, okay? (laughs) And as a a, a singer, um, I was just starting off doing theater as a singer, but I started asking Don to give me a few lines here and there. So expand your brand. And be bold. And be bold. Yes. I do voiceover. Um, I take pictures. Uh, yes. <laughs> I do photography. Uh, photography. Um, wait, wait, produced? wait. Listen. Are you thinking about Ex- producing? I produce wait, my own expand shows. Your brand. I just, it kind of went over my head. Brand. You said it so quick. So Write expand your brand means, you know, don't, she's not just a singer. She do other stuff. Right. I'm she a songwriter. Everything. I've had um, songs placed in films. Yes. Which one? And um, yeah, well, Don B. Welch's oh, yeah, Twenty Four yeah, yeah, Hour yeah, Love yeah. and his The Divorce. That. Oh, that was, and yes. I just wrote a jingle for my friend Can Dance. Oh, that's what I wanted All to that talk about. More. She yeah. uses her <laughs> gifts and talents to, because I think you just did that for her. No, no, oh, she can listen to you. Yes. Oh, okay. We, well, it was business. on. Um, <laughs> I but you put, friends, your, but, uh, you put your foot in that jingle because you. you really captured the heart it. and vision of it. We'll play it. I, yeah. I try. You know, we in transition. Sorry. Oh, but I'm no. going to make sure because uh, I actually, the outfit that I wore today, and I meant to plug her. That I went there yesterday because I okay. wanted to pay homage to her. And her, that's her candle burning, by the way. All that oh, more who's, right who's here. Wait, this is her signature scent. Who is Our this? friend Can Dance. Oh, Can Dance. Can Dance. Yes. In Culver City. Can I smell it? <laughs> yes. This is hot. Yes. So shout out to oh, you. Yeah. Can Dance. She just wanted Culver something City. fun. And yes, I've, nice I work with my friend Joe Archie, and he's a musician, producer. You don't have to get it. You know, they don't burn the place down. That's what we're going to do for a new jig, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm ready so for it. You call it theme song. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I'll, I'll submit something. Okay, now we yes. got we we got two minutes. We've been flat. Oh, no, submit. I was gonna say. Yeah, you know we gonna close I, the show. Perform. Yes. Now okay. what are we? What are we? Are we ready? Really no, like you know, I know you can't give us a sneak preview with uh, some of the stuff you've been working on, unless you know you you want to do a cover or you know it's up to you. Well, I wrote a song called um, "Yes, God Is Real." <laughs> For one of Don's plays. And so I'll just sing a little bit of that. I love it. Yes. So many things going on in my life today that I don't understand. It's not easy to stay faithful, but I know God has a plan. My family and friends going through tests and trials. Try to be strong, but some days it's just hard to smile. Cried out to God, shed so many tears. In the midst of my storm, he stepped in and said, peace be still. I know for myself, yes, God is real. I'm Trisha Man Grant. And this, this book right here belongs to this young lady. We wrapping this up. Is this yeah, this yes, show? two minutes. All right, so look here. This is my book, Amazing Testimony. She bought it like uh, 12 years yes, ago, and she's business. just now getting it. Thank you. I Trish. wrote in there a special note to you, so you know. 
And thank I want to thank you for your so amazing much. testimony. Today. Yes, this was oh, thank amazing. Thank you for the story me. of your life and for God's testimony. glory. Yes. Because if there's anything God. we can relate to, it's being down, falling, and can't get up. And that's huh. literally and figuratively. Literally. <laughs> Financially, <laughs> mentally, no spiritually. More. They say if you want to stay <laughs> alive, don't fall. Yo, and don't right. be anxious, guys. Yes, I don't care how bad it that. looks, no matter what it looks like, just trust and know that he brought you this far. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Right. I'm Trisha uh, uh, Man Crab for Williams uh, Andrea Jones. All right, guys. You all look out for us. I'll see you next time. And then I'll see you next time. That's our cue. Boom. 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 How we doing? I didn't know I was the one when we first met. I admit I wasn't so sure, so I played hard to get. Eventually I fell for your charming ways Since then we've been together every day I wonder if someone's gonna pinch me, pinch me. And I wake up to find it all a dream